Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo E14, Lenovo ThinkPad E14 laptop. And in this today's video I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to open up and replace your battery. You can do it at home with really almost no tools required. And it's really simple. If your battery is not holding up any more charge or it's discharging really quickly and you can just order a new one, just pop in and you're set to go. And I'll leave the link for the new batteries in the video description and the tools that I use for this service. Just remember by replacing the battery, you're not going to modify anything on the system. It's everything just plug and play. It's going to work fine. And I'll also show you the BIOS battery for this model. All right. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop, face it upside down, and you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. We're going to be using a bit number zero. And also, if you do get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're going to get it started, obviously, with your new battery. And so down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws all around. These screws, they do have a little C-lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. So all you need to do is to twist and twist the screw until you feel like it's really loosened. Okay, do a few extra turns. And you want to do this to all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that pretty much we loosen up all the screws, what are we gonna do? We're gonna open it up a little bit, grab the opening tool, and we're gonna stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between the bottom palm rest and the bottom cover right there. Okay, it's gonna focus. And we wanna twist it towards the keyboard. And you want to hear tiny clicks. You want to do this all front end and the side, even in the back if you wish. You want to do it, but I usually don't do it in the back because there's no point to. So I'll show you why. So I did the front and the side. Now all you do is close it down, grab the front corner that you loosen up, and wiggle around, lift it up, wiggle it around, and it will release the back end. So down here we can see the battery right in front of you. The model name for this battery is an L17C3P51. And the ASMP part number is an SB10T831. Okay? So in order to remove the battery, you don't need to disconnect it first. First, you want to remove the two screws, one right here and one right here. They actually, they tell you it's an M.2 L4, M.2 L4. So remove these two screws, put them to one side. And all you need to do is grab the battery from the corner, bring it, loosen up the bottom end, just bring it And all you need to do is just pull it towards the USB port on this side, slowly, gently, and it will release the jack. These jacks are really tough, so don't worry about it. You're going to rip them. Anyways, you're going to replace it, so don't worry. So let's say you got the new battery in. You want to align it. Make sure this, the pins, the red cable, and the black cable is a positive and negative. The positive red has to face towards the hinge, and the black is supposed to face towards the front. You want to align the jack first inside the connector right there, and you want to squeeze it all the way in, and then you want to, slide the bottom of the battery right through these holes or trays and then you want to put the two screws right over on one one on each side also there's a, a proper way of using your first battery i'll explain it to you in a second so once you have the battery in there all you need to do is grab the cover bring it over and just tighten up the screws and the screws will pull the cover and at the end, all you need to do is a little tiny push down and it will click in all the corners. And if there is a little gap opening, just pinch the bottom cover and the top cover and it will pull itself to each other. Regarding the battery, if, once you put the new battery in, you do not want to power on right away. 
you want to plug in the charger and leave it there for charging at least four to five hours. Once it's charged in within off position, off state, then after that you want to unplug the charger, power it on, and leave it in working on a small load for at least five to six hours. So the battery gradually goes down to 10 to 20%. Once it went down, you want to power off, shut it down, and plug in the charger, leave it there for another five to six hours. And after that, you can use it the way you wish. Again, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.